five. We gotta do Trevor's mission here. I was gonna buy some properties, but they are way too expensive. Not I way miss too you bad. already! I already know. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the that no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes. There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, oh, Floyd. Crap. <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa, hey. My name is Trevor, sweetheart. <laughs> I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! <laughs> oh, hey there, Trevor! <laughs> Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Ooh, interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, shit. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. Where are we going? We're going to strip club, huh, Trevor? I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup. Accidents. Shit. We've all been there. We sure have, but. But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no That's licking. Weird. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof! Right? I mean, ow! I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is, you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Look, this is it. This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. I don't even like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. 
Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. This is gonna be weird, isn't it? Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. That's just weird. I think we changed over to. Mike? Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. All right, here we go. So, shall we?
bad. Oh well. These kids is fly as fuck, ain't they? Oh yeah. What's up? I call my city a saint from struggle, lost scandal, saying they in trouble. Hell yeah. They only play like six songs here. It's kind of making me crazy. <laughs> well, you are crazy. All right, Trevor, where the hell are you? Hey. There's the man. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Holy Sam, crap. who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So, we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael, Franklin, what you've got to do is take the temperature at the bank to see if there's anything that stands out. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. Seriously, man. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's going to be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just... Some things are just better left alone. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. 
No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails, he's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. I will, but I gotta talk to you, too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. 13.30. We're an hour down, two to go. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go 
IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Nice. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the jewel store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! That's the excavation! I need you to hold the chopper above it while I take a look. I need to be above, shooting down into it. Two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. 
it's not impossible. All right. We'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Alright. Well, we're gonna quit right there for the day, guys. I'll catch you later. Have a good one.